Welcome back to another episode of our FM22 Unknown to Icon series. We have started at the bottom of the English divisions and we'll try to get to the promised land of the Premier League. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. With Football Manager 23 just round for corner, I've zoomed across on this save and finished the season. Finished our first season, did we keep St Albans from going down? Remember, when we took over St Albans back in November, we was bottom. So let's quickly go through this. We beat Haven 2 0, Braintree, we won 2 0. Oh, remember, we was having that really, really good run in the FA Trophy. We got to the fifth round playing easily and we lost at home 5 0. Nil. So I thought, oh no, this is going to ruin form. We just picked up a couple of wins. We're not bottom anymore. And then we beat Dulwich Hamlet 3 2. And then we draw against Bath 1 0. What a month. What a month. Then we drew against Eastbourne Borough 2 0. We beat Concord 1 0. Then we beat Belair K away 1 0. East Fleet, we lost 1 0 at home. Maidstone, we lose 2 0. Considering we beat Maidstone, obviously, from last video, we beat them 2 1 at home. But no, we lost. 2-0. So again, looking back at March, two wins, two lot losses, and a draw. That keeps us off from bottom. Okay, and we'll go through for a league table chart of how we was performing in a minute. Then in April, we batter Hungerford 5-2. 5-2. I mean, if we look back at Hungerford, our last results. Wasn't Hungerford our first game that we took over? Yes, it was. We, we lost at home 3-2. So that's the progression that we're having. We beat them at their home home away 5-2 then we played Chelmsford 3-1 lost at home we could have still got relegated right if we literally go into Hampton and Richmond and lost all of our games we could have still got relegated we go into Hampton and Richmond and we win we win 2-1 away another away win I mean we go look back at our away games so we won 2-1 5-2 lost there then we won 1-0 drew 2 all we won 3-2 we won 2-0 we lost 1-0 we won 2-1 and then our form was pretty rubbish before then. Our formation is working well away. Maybe we need to make some tweaks for our home. Maybe we're not attacking enough, maybe. But we won. We're safe in for Vanarama National League South for next season. We've got a lot of building to do. Now, what happened to the last three fixtures? Dartford away, we lost. Dorkin at home, we lost 3-1. Oxford, we lost. It's like that my players literally went. We're safe, don't need to play anymore. But then, last game of the season, we win 4-1 against Tonbridge. Tonbridge, sorry. 4-1. Great end of the season. Great end of the season. So that's our results. Let's go see how the league table looks throughout the season. And there you have it. This is our league table. So I left you on the 23rd game. As you see, we went up. I was excited. I was like, yes, we're off from bottom. And then we lost those two games and went back down. Then we had that really amazing month where we didn't lose in the league. We lost that again easily 5-0 but we picked up great form got up to 17th is that 17th got up to 18th sorry we pretty much maintained it dropped down to 19th for a bit and then we came back up to 18th and despite us losing those three games for three out for four last games of the season we stayed in 18th and that's where we finished we finished 18th and we look at the league table now we actually in fact finished 13 points safe 43 points for us Braintree went down on 30 points so amazing. Let's just split this a little bit because if we go to first half of the stage of the season, as you can see, we was bottom. We won three, lost 11, drew five on a measly 14 points. So 13 games of these 19 was not us. We was not in charge. And we was trying to find a way to just bring those points so that we could get up. If we now go to second stage, which we had full accountability of, much better. So with that, the second half of season, we managed to what play 21 won 9 lost 10 and drew 2 we got 29 points so we would have been 12th in the table second half of the season anyway but who knows what if I was at the beginning of the season maybe we could have pushed on and reached plus but this gives me potential to work on for next season who was my better players for the season and as you can see no surprise to be fair because I probably spoke about these two quite a lot in the videos of goal scorer or best player and that's uh, Kieran Wiltshire and Sean Jeffers. So if you are starting a non-league save, I would highly recommend these two players. Sean Jeffers, he got me 22 goal 
goals this season. And even Wiltshire, he's got me 11 goals. Right, let's go off and look at my tactics. So this is how we finish fourth the season. And these are gaps of where I need. And these are players I'd like to keep us back up. So I pro promoted a couple of youth, Connor BT and Ray. And we've got Adam Pierce there as well on a youth contract. Okay, so yeah, so this is how I finish the season off. Sweeper keeper, wing back support, ball playing defender, centre defence, wing back support, DLP support, attacking playmaker, attack, box to box, midfield support. I'm going to get rid of that DLP next season. I'm going to start with a ball winning midfielder just so that it frees these two up a bit more and gives me cover in that defence. And then we've got a winger inside forward and a DOF. I think I'm going to also change that to either Potro advance forward and I'm going to put one on these on attack. I'm not too sure which one yet. But we also played a little bit with this. This is taken from my football manager 2012 game. I basically put in it and I thought, you know what? I just want to see what it can do. And it's been okay. Maybe some more tweaks and maybe it just doesn't suit the match engine anymore. I mean, it is 10 years old. 10 years old when I created this. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Again, all these formations I create is inspiration from other tacticians. I'm not a tactician. I like watching other people create them and explain them and then I go, right, okay, I'm going to take that. I like that idea. Oh, I like that bit as well. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. And then I try and create my own. So that's it. That's how we save St. Albans from relegation. Aim next season, playoffs. Definitely playoffs. I've got to aim. Top seven. Show that progression. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, and then continue your journey and watch this one.